Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from thetarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading now, focus on your love life. So let's find out what's happening in your love life. Okay, so the first card that I have is indicating to me that some of you have been thinking about working something out. I feel like it might have been, you know, something that was troubling you because the card that is on the bottom of the deck is indicating a lot of worry, a lot of things that are causing you grief during this period. So I feel like something is not sitting well with you. There might be something that has been causing a lot of chaos. You know, you might not know how this is going to get resolved. For some of you, you may have even met somebody in the workplace. That could be one of the indications. Yeah, and this could be causing you a lot of grief and you might be, you know, feeling worried about your feelings or the emotions that you have for this person. That is one of the possibilities as well. Okay. Now, the next card is talking about animosity, tension and a difficult energy. I feel like someone is fighting for something and the other person is pushing against it. So the two of you are really at loggerheads at this point of time. I don't feel like, you know, either of you are trying to compromise when it comes to the energy. It just feels like, you know, both of you are trying to push uh, against one another and uh, not giving each other much room to budge. So I feel like, yeah, this is a very tough energy. It's not necessarily one that um, results in compromise. It's not one that takes into account the other person's feelings. It's all about me, 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 okay? And um, I feel like you're concerned over your own well-being. They're concerned over their own well-being. And the two of you are caught in the struggle, right? And uh, it's not really a nice kind of place to be. Okay, let's look at the next energy. The next energy is showing to me that there's this energy of wanting to protect oneself, okay, and not allowing oneself to be vulnerable, okay, and I'm picking up from this energy that it's not an easy energy, it's as if, you know, you're holding on to who you are as a person and this person is holding on to who they are as a person. And both of you are defined by your own individual definitions of yourself, for example. And um, I feel like, you know, this, there's this very slim possibility of the two of you merging as one. Because uh, there's a lot of focus on the outside, the external, the mater material. There's very little focus on the spiritual. Even if, you know, some of you have been trying to get onto that level, you know, it's been hard. And uh, I feel like the two of you are very different natures. Very different natures when it comes to how, you know, they carry themselves, how you carry yourself. I feel like your atoms are just not, you know clicking well together so there's something going on there that is just not allowing for this to occur so i see from the energy that uh, this person they make you feel very happy okay but at the same time there's this antagonistic attitude that gets on your nerves it's sort of like a love-hate relationship you know i feel like you are struggling to let go of this individual they are you know your ray of sunshine or someone that gives you a lot of happiness but at the same time I feel like there's this very conflicting energy of grief and misery and unhappiness and some of you are fighting against it trying to you know push it away or trying to 
not accept it. I feel like someone turned down an opportunity to work something out. Could either be from your side, could be from their side. So there is love here, okay? There is the energy of love that is present. And um, I feel like it's complicated, right? Yeah, I feel like it's a secret love. Someone may have offered love secretly or something of that nature or perhaps uh, they weren't quite certain whether or not it was love. I feel like there was questioning, there was paranoia. There's something that's being hidden here, something that's not being revealed. Okay, someone might have a secret love for another individual. And uh, I'm sensing from the cards that... Um, yeah, the two of you might have a strong bond, but I also feel like there's these clashes that are occurring and it's uh, causing havoc between um, the two of you. I feel like there's someone wearing a mask and um, it's this difficult emotion, very difficult sort of emotions connected to it. It's as if uh, someone might want to offer love, but they have uh, fears, doubts, or insecurities. I feel like it doesn't have that uh, substance of stability where, you know, if you climb Mount Everest and uh, you put that stick into the ground, you know, declaring your country or, you know, where you're from or whatever and making it known to the world. It doesn't have that sort of energy where, you know, someone is missing that courage to claim this as their own, you know. It feels as if... Um, one individual is still uncertain, even though it's there in their face. It's like they're going in search of something else. It's like they might be standing on the top of Mount Everest, but they might see something else, another mountain peak or something else. Or, you know, they want to explore. It's uncharted territory. They want to go and look what else is out there. It feels like that sort of energy. That's a very strange energy. But uh, yeah, I'm picking that up. So there's this curiosity, but there's also this uh, sort of energy of uh, someone feeling as if the other is not enough. This could be you feeling that way, you know. This could be feeling like, uh, you know, you could be feeling like this individual is uh, not everything that you want and you might want someone else. It could also be that this individual is feeling that towards you, you know. You're not everything they want. They want something else or another version of it. They don't want this version of it. It feels like an opposition. And, uh, yeah, I'm picking that energy up very heavily. Okay, so the next energy is talking about someone feeling stuck, someone feeling restricted, limited, unable to, unable to grasp the situation. Someone's in denial about something, not wanting to really admit that uh, they are, you know, stuck in the situation. It feels like a trap. It feels like, you know, they want to break free. You know, but this could be mental in itself. And I feel like it's very torturous. I don't feel like it's something that they've anticipated. You know, I don't feel like this individual anticipated to be in this sort of position. And as a response to this behavior, I feel like someone becomes more and more cold. You know, the more they, they look at it, you know, they have this more sort of uh, appearance of um, being very distant on an emotional level. And uh, I don't feel like they want you to get out uh, get them out of the situation. I don't feel like they want you to rescue them. I feel like they'll do it on their own time. I am picking up the energy of this person uh, making plans. And, um, you know, I feel like they have their own sort of path to follow and they're doing their own thing. And uh, despite the fact that the two of you care for one another, I really see that in the situation, you know, it's a very complicated matter. It's not something that is... Um, as you would uh, imagine, it's not like some sort of fairy tale. And I feel like there is this attraction, there is this love, it is there. But I also feel like there's a lot of uh, caution and apprehension. And I feel like someone's holding back from opening up their heart. Someone doesn't want to be there for the other person. You know, and there could be a mixture of emotions that could be happening here. But I definitely feel like, you know, it's either someone doesn't want to accept the kindness of another individual or keeps rejecting it. Or the other individual who has the ability to assist doesn't uh, keep their word. Okay, so I feel like it's something along those lines where there's complicated emotions. There's a bit of spitefulness here as well. It's like someone wants something on their own terms. And if they don't have it on their own terms, they don't want it at all. It feels like that. 
a very complicated situation. So I hope you guys enjoyed your tarot card reading. And if you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.